Serial position effect. Named by a guy named Herman Ebbinghaus. He gave himself and, and study participants a word list. And what he realized was word list position. So this is the percent recall. So the number of people who could recall this word in the list. Here's the, you know, the first word in the list, one, last word in the list, 10, 20, whatever. What he found was the first word in the list, most people remembered that. As people learn more and more words, stuff in the middle, people did not remember these words. But then at the end, people remembered this. What a lot of people kind of also call this serial position effect, a lot of people call this part the primacy effect, and this part, the recency effect. We remember things in the beginning, and we remember things at the end. In the middle, not so much. This is a lot like our vacation. I had a really great time thinking about this vacation we were gonna have, planning like how I was gonna spend my days with my daughter, really like obsessing about like all this daddy-daughter time we were gonna have. I also really remember how it ended with Tila and our, and our cat passing away. Obviously this is, the moment in our life is very sad, but this colors so much of what happened on, on our trip. We had a lot of great things here during this period that I do remember, that, but maybe not as, as, as uh, in my brain, maybe not as, as, as poignant as what, what happened at the end. Because there's a lot of fun things that happen here. If I kind of you know go back and really force myself to remember all the good stuff, my daughter and I got to spend a lot of time like drinking pina coladas and hanging out in, we hung out in a hot tub while it was just pouring on us, but we loved it. We met uh, another girl named Addie who she loved. My daughter swam like on her own for like the first time in a pool with me. This was like a monumental improvement in her ability to swim. I'm just blown away by how proud of I am of her. You can kind of hack this a little bit to make your vacations better. If you're gonna do something fun, I would do it at the end. A lot of people like they blow the first part of their vacation getting all the fun stuff in, whether you're zip lining or going to a fancy restaurant or whatever, I, I would do it at the end. You might remember then your vacation a lot better. You're gonna hack this. Instead of taking like longer, like once in a lifetime vacations, take just more frequent vacations. Instead of just like one big curve, now all of a sudden you have a lot more peaks here that you get to remember. Those are some of my travel hacks and just some of the stuff that's going on in here.